You guys. Hi, guys. Oh, we're so excited to be back. I feel like I'm at a very weird angle right now, but we're going to try to just make it work. I have my shoes on and no feet, no free feet shots today. Yeah, I have my socks on and my PJs on. So <laughs> it's like good. kind of, these are just been my all day clothes are basically my pajama clothes. So I'm feeling comfortable, but I always am. But um, I need to get, we need to get maybe matching pajama sets. That would be really cute. It would be cute. It would be cute. And then decorate this little area for Christmas. I know. I need to re- decorate for call. sure. I'm getting a call from our dear friend Brooke right now. She is. We are going to Harry Styles again tonight. You are. And I'm very scared of how. I mean, these tickets were a little bit cheaper than what I normally pay, but I'm very, very thrilled. But it's been a very heavy day on my bank account. Tristan Saturday said he had no money and he needed to bring a flask into the bars. And now he's bought Taylor Swift tickets and a fourth Harry Styles show ticket. <laughs> um, I have no sympathy for someone who says there has no money spending okay. this kind of money. To be fair, I did get paid from the job that I have. And I was very proud of myself. And, um, you know, the, this we got the pre-sale. I was lucky enough to get one of the codes. And yeah. there were very few of us to get the code. So I feel like as a good friend and confidant, I need to be there for my friends to do the access. So like six of us who wanted to go to Loverfest, which was like in 2020, and it got canceled. Um, we have all been planning to go to the next tour, whenever it may be. And now that date is in April. So the show we got was Sunday night, two weeks after Coachella. Oh, <laughs> nice. Fun. Fun. <laughs> And I saw that it was April 30th, and I was like, I wonder when Coachella is. But I looked it up, and I was really scared that I was either going to miss Coachella. I mean, because I would have had to change. But, like, it's hard because you have to get the tickets that you get. Like, you got to stick with it. And the date for the pre-sale code that you get, like, that's what you have to do. Yeah. That was a scary number. So did you, for the pre-sale code, did you have to do three different shows? or like? So you go in, you make your selects. So I'm like, so I did Atlanta for my first one because I knew I wanted to go there with my friends. Um, and then I did the two LA shows and I didn't get either of the LA shows, but Sally Dar or Patrick did get the LA shows. So Sally Dar used Patrick's code and everyone on the East coast, um, had, or two of us had codes. They didn't get in. And so I thought like I was going to wake up and I'd have the tickets already from their presale. But then we actually had to use my presale code and get those tickets. So When I logged in, there was about 2,000. No, it says 2,000 plus people, which is really like 15,000 probably. Because I sat there for about three hours waiting to get those tickets. And we Mm. secured them. Well, that's good. Congrats. Very excited for you. Are you going to think you may go to the shows? Sidar yeah. has a couple extra tickets, so I'm no, thinking. I mean, I'm going to buy tickets on Step Up the day up, like I always do. <laughs> right. I don't really see the point of spending. I don't know. I just had to secure because. I always, I don't, I always can get tickets if I want them, so I don't really care to like wait like this and get tickets, I guess. Yeah. I think Reputation Tour changed my life so much that I knew I had to get the tickets I needed. Like, I can't, that, there wasn't any, like, we're right by the pit or right by the stage. She's going to sweat on me. It's going to be really good. It's going to be very good. My cousin's going to the same show as you, actually. Oh, wait, really? Yep, Olivia. But she, I think, is up. She didn't get the pit tickets. But she's up in the nosebleed, she says, and said it was really difficult getting them. Yeah, that's the one that Sally Dar got where the, in the, like, 400 level. But the SoFi Stadium in L.A. is huge. So, like, any seat's going to be a good seat. And, like, especially with her tour, she really knows how to use the whole room. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, the last show I went to, um, we got into the pit without paying for the pit. So that is nice. Yeah. It was really nice. We just went up and walked and <laughs> it wasn't full. And the lady said, yeah, of course, come on in. So, <laughs> was that for Taylor? Hmm? Wow. Yeah. The last Taylor show I went to. Yeah. Wow. That's a dream. Well, I am excited. I, I'm really, I feel accomplished. It feels like it's been a really long day, especially like having to like move my mouse and make sure it looks like I'm working. I actually did have like a giant like report due today. And it just, that was the only thing on my mind was Miss Taylor. Well, good. I'm glad you secured them. That's very exciting. Secured and fumbled the bag, but no, well, I wouldn't say you fumbled the bag. (laughs) So you're going to Harry Styles for the fourth time today or this year? Uh, fifth time this year. One, if you count Coachella. 
Four times this show, this this without Coachella. Though. Yeah, um, I went once to New York. This is be my third LA show. Wow. I know. What made you want to go again tonight? I think like the opportunity arose itself, and I wasn't gonna go. And then everyone was like, "It's his last night." You know, it'll be like fun. Well, last night of this little part because he had to reschedule for January. But okay. Um, Who all are y'all going with? Me, Sarah, our friend Rafi, her roommate, and um, Brittany Broski and Brooke have tickets um, right like in the Forum Club area, okay. which is like right by the you know where we were hanging out. So we'll yeah. get to hang out with them, but we won't be sitting with them. Okay. That'll be fun. Yeah. That'll be fun. And we finna be in the pit. So I'm really excited. <laughs> I know. I wonder if it's going to be crowded, though, tonight. I'm, I'm sure. But nothing can compare over Harry Wheaton. That was scary. Yeah. That was that really seems spooky. Scary. I really loved seeing Kendall Jenner there last night. That was nuts. All the, like, I love that celebrities go to the concerts, but it's like, it seems so distracting. Like, and especially even with TikTokers, like, that's distracting for. Like, I mean, it's not Harry's fault. It's, like, the, like, fan's fault for, like... Right. Like, it's hard to pay attention. I wouldn't pay attention. The only person I'm paying attention to is Harry, though. Yeah. But I liked one TikTok showing Kendall and Kylie and Haley, and the next thing you know, I still get, like, four TikToks with them, so... Oh, wow. That was insane. Also, I just love how many high-profile, like, celebs just, like, love him. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. I do miss the days where it was just, you know... The OG Harry Us fans. and 3,000 people. Yeah. <laughs> at the original show. Yeah, that was nice. That was very nice. So. Well, we going to miss you tonight. Patricia did not have it in herself. To no, I just don't think I want to spend 200 bucks again. Yeah. I love you, Harry, but... He, he needs to start paying us to go to these shows because it's, it's really digging a hole I into I feel like, it. I don't know, I feel like this show was very similar to the show we went to last year. So I mean, it's amazing, obviously, but... I don't know. Yeah. I don't... The holidays are coming up. I've got Christmas presents to buy. So You gonna get me something really nice? Well, you're not gonna be here. <laughs> you can ship. Great shipping programs. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be leaving for a while. Um, for the rest of the year. Um, next week on November twenty second, I'll be back in the new year. So we're gonna have some pre batched um episodes and going vlogs vlogs for you guys like Christmas. it makes sense there have been times that i've always thought maybe i should just stay through the holidays but yeah well the one thing i'm really going to be sad about is our christmas tree because patricia always gets a real christmas tree and last christmas was our first christmas together i probably it, won't get one this year i don't <laughs> want to spend the money so. it, they're expensive and it's like putting that on top of your car like that's scary too well i don't have to do that but yeah it's but it fun, makes, but it I mean, I'm still going to decorate, but I'm not going to do, I don't know. I don't feel like pulling out all my ornaments this year. You don't? It's yeah. Christmas fun. I really don't. Well, Matt will have his village. That's enough for about, like, for everybody. So. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, I love having it decorated in here, but I don't want to have to move the couch, to put the tree in here. Oh, I forgot about that. There's a couch. And all the window. ornaments that I have are like my really nice ornaments that I've had all over. Like, not nice, but like my mom has sent me all my ornaments from over the mm. years. And it's pain in the ass to get them out and put them on the tree and then put them back up. So I'd rather just do the bare minimum this year, which is not really that minimum because I yeah. last year I kind of went balls to the wall because we had a Christmas party and um, I got a lot of really good garlands and and wreaths that were fake, which I usually don't like fake things, but now I do because yeah. I don't have to buy anything this year. It's well, you have nice. good taste in candles. We can find some very scented good candles. Oh, yeah, a nice little pine tree candle for sure. Oh so, hell yeah. Um, well, I'm really sad to be missing. That's my favorite part of like Christmas is the tacky Christmas parties here and the secret Santa gift exchanges and whatnot and such. So I'm really sad to be missing that. But, you know, it's going to be fun. I'm going to be spending time with my family at home. Gracie and Bug. Gracie Bug. Oh, my God. My mom just sent me. Hang on. I got to show you. I'll put it in the podcast when we're at the Okay. One it, second. We're she... at 10 minutes. <gasps> Gracie Bug. Bug. I'll put this on the screen. Okay. Also, so my phone updated last night, and I woke up, like, early this morning, and it was still dark out, and for some reason, the new update, like, it's now making me do my face ID again, and I just haven't done it yet, but it's kind of annoying. Oh, like, re, um, re restore it? Yeah. Ew. Which I've never had that happen when I have an update. And, you know, they were really way behind on the mask thing. You know, you can use your mask. Yeah. I, that was, like, when we were By stopping. By the time they did it, it was like, okay, 
and it wasn't even enough time for LA. Like no. LA, we were doing, we were wearing masks longer than I saw. I was anybody. looking back at memories from this time last year, and we were wearing masks. Mm-hmm. Like it seems insane. This time and last year, and also this time last year was the first date that our air conditioning went out. And this week it has been like very cold. I would say in LA, freezing. And last year, this time was ninety degrees during the day. Kind of weird. Yeah, I'm so happy about. I'm so happy it's about been. cold. Yeah, it's yeah. been great. Honestly. <laughs> I feel like if like any time it gets cold, I'm just like thankful that it is cold. Yeah, like, and we can we still have our AC on. So. Yeah. Um yeah. and I and like this weekend we were in Venice, we had friends in town and I was wearing a long black trench coat like all weekend and I'm like, people are probably looking at me like she is <laughs> insane. But I'm like She's the in cold the in LA is like a different kind of cold. I don't know. Yeah, especially when you're by the water, then you've got the water yeah. cold too. Which and especially is so if much. you have to go to Venice on last Thursday like I did and have to get into the ocean like I did. That's yeah. insane. You need to tell people about it. Can you tell people about it? Well I did this photo shoot with a brand that I'm working with, which was really fun, but it was like for a summer shoot and I had to get all the way up to like my right at my shorts and my shorts were like kind of like cover up type shorts so they weren't long they were pretty short and my feet were completely white my scar on my feet was purple my toes were purple I get I have bad circulation in my feet anyways and so like wasn't that the night we had yeah we had like events that night too yeah I left so my house at <laughs> seven or I woke up at six thirty, left the house at seven forty five. didn't get home until about six forty five. immediately had to leave and go to one event Come back home, drop off the stuff I got from that event, go to another event, come straight back home, and all of our friends showed up. That is, like, making me sick. Like, I don't know how we... This weekend was, like, full of, like, it's the typical, like, your best friends are visiting, and it's, like, immediate, like, every single thing in L.A. you could possibly do, and we did. I think we showed them, like, a good amount of, like... I mean, you were, like, the forefront of it. Like, I was very thankful for your planning. Um, but we had, like... Well, I, went, we, I also went to events Thursday, which was nice. They got in town. And then I was trying to convince everyone to go out. No one wanted to go out. Yeah, that was one thing I was good. I had, like, one glass of wine that night. And then Friday, we went to Malibu all day. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. That, that was, was nice. pretty. And then we went to dinner at Spartina. And then Great we went LA to restaurant. La Poubelle. Then we went to Tenants of the Trees. Didn't and really showed up. Yeah, and, showed and up. I think like it's kind of funny to hear like I don't know. So then Saturday we went to Venice Waterfront and watched football. Went to Jameson's and Gaslight. Sunday we went to David's party. I mean we did stuff during the day, but after the fact, like Sydney and Murphy were saying, two of our friends were like, we almost didn't want to go to this party because we were kind of intimidated. Oh really? Yeah, they were kind of scared. And yeah. I'm like, I do forget that I feel like some of the things that they see that we do in LA maybe does look intimidating. But I'm like, no. Yeah. Once you just get over, like, the people, like, if there's, like, they are intimidating people and you just, like, learn to fuck with them and, like, learn to talk to them in a way that's, like, you don't really care. Oh, yeah, I have a really good um, story about that one. Oh, I need to hear. I should probably say it. So we walk into David's uh, party. The first person is in the line of fire is Miss Miss Dear Tana Mojo. <laughs> and y'all, I don't know if you listen to Unfiltered, but Matt kind of threw me under the bus um, saying that I <laughs> was getting mad at him by driving all the way up to her house. No, I literally was looking at him being like, why are you going all the way up here to turn around when you literally just could have parked on the other side of the street? Anyway, so he made it seem like, I don't know. Anyways, Tanner was like, <laughs> I'm obsessed with y'all with y'all's engagement. And then she looks at me and she was like, I think we've met in passing a few times. And I just looked at her and I said, babe, we've met like five or six times and like had conversations. <laughs> like she kind of laughed and she told me I looked like rich and hot in my long black coat. And I was like, okay, thanks girl. I love you. <laughs> but I'm also like, you know, what? I don't really, I'm not intimidated by you anymore. Like I'm embarrassed yeah. that Matt threw me under the bus, but I'm also like, I'm not going to let you sit here and say we've never met really. Yeah. And it gets to a point where, and I'm definitely guilty of like the, not knowing names, but like I know that you all have met so many yes. times. And there are times, and I, there are definitely people that I don't know names, but I know I've met them multiple times. Yeah. And I like. And you like, you know, make an effort to be like sweet and nice. Yeah. you. I mean, I just feel bad that I don't know their name, but like I talk to them like because I do know them. But I mean, and I'm also like, <laughs> it's just funny, but. <laughs> It well, it was great. Did you try the pizza at all? It was very good, yeah. So we were there for um, David Dobrik's pizza launch of Dobrik's, and it was it was really, like, so much more elevated than I thought it would be. Like, the decorations, the red carpet everywhere, like, 
all the logos and stuff. Like, And also when you walk in, it was at Barless. And when you walk in, there's like this huge photo wall. And they switch out every frame on the wall to pictures of like Dobrik's stuff. That was crazy. Which like is like, that's a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, maybe not. Really but good. like, And they had an open bar and I was just. And they had this really tall dancer. Oh my god! Yeah, that robot dancer. Yeah, I don't know how I didn't see that. I just saw it on people's stories. And you never saw it. that? No, I saw a photo you sent me. I mean, it was probably right beside me, and I didn't. I did you see the video of me falling out from the? Mm-hmm. Yes. So I, I, mean, I had a slip up. Someone happened to be recording a video of me, and she came up to me after, and she was like, "I was recording when you fell." <laughs> so I watched it back, and it was really funny. She well, all I so Tristan, I guess, was standing on like one of the benches that like is also you can pull it off, and it's like a storage unit. And all I saw was them, like these two workers like fixing it. Next thing you know, Tristan shows me this video, and I'm like, "Oh, that's how it was messed up." Got that's it. gonna, that's gonna go ahead and be me for got being the it. reason. Got it, got it. <laughs> it was really funny, and it didn't hurt. I mean, I was glad. I was probably like, well, uh, had my alcohol blanket on, so I was able yeah. to suffer the crash a little bit better. But it was, it was a good time. It was, and but the pizza were, really was delicious. I loved it, and they had ranch, which was really. And great. their ranch is really good, which is a hard thing to f- wonder, come by. You in think LA. they sell that in the restaurant too? The ranch. I hope so. Yeah, they should. If not, they need to get on. I mean, that. I think they wouldn't like market it with their pizza if they didn't. Yeah. Well, it was really good. I don't think I'll be going to Dobrik's anytime soon because I think it's going to be so crowded. So crowded. My dad's so interested. He's like, so are they franchising? I'm like, I have no idea because my dad owns restaurants. Restauranteer. Did you know that um, he and David are going to play a tennis match? Who? My dad. Really? <laughs> when? I think when I, so we're going to do an engagement party in January, probably the end of January. Yeah. So probably then. My dad's a very crazy. good tennis player and he's like, I want to play David. And Dave was like, "Yeah, we're gonna play. We're like, uh, he That's wants to gonna play be my so dad. fun. We should make T-shirts. <laughs> team Team Pete. <laughs> yeah, okay. maybe we'll, and we gonna wear like Hamburger Heaven like merch and yes. stuff. That would be yes. really cute. The, David's side will wear Dobrik's merch. We'll wear Hamburger Heaven merch. Be cute. Uh, the, he really needs to expand uh, Hamburger Heaven into LA. I feel like we need another. Like David has the pizza now, and then you could have the burgers and the breakfast. But the thing is, I would have to like run it. Yeah, it'd be great. <laughs> Running a restaurant is hard. I know. It'd be really funny. I'd love I come to. home smelling like a burger every single day and have grease on the bottom of my shoes. Ugh. And you've been there. But you've hell, done I that. need a job at this rate. So. <laughs> and you've been well. there. You've done that. You've worked in the restaurant. So like I've worked the, there a lot. Yeah. You know the ins and outs of it. So mm-hmm. I think it's not too far-fetched for us to say yep. that could be a possibility. Yep. I am going to need some of his team to move out to L.A. for about a month to um, mm-hmm. help get it going. Right. We can find some people out here. I'm sure like we could, you know, when we needed gritsters for to make edits of our videos, they came in full force. Yeah, so I yeah. don't think it's as exciting to work at a restaurant, but like it could be. It could like, be. I'd, I'd be a really fun boss. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Because I wouldn't be, know. I would not know what the hell I'd be doing at all times. <laughs> counting money. Not me. Couldn't figure that thing out. Ordering the, the right amount of machine. food. Like that's what I don't know how people do it in the um, like when you get change at a restaurant with cash. I could not even begin to count like your change back to you or tell you how much the worst when I would do the cashier and you, or the cash register. And all of a sudden, if you push in, or if you push one button, it doesn't show you the change that you're supposed to give back. Usually mm-hmm. it tells you, oh, if you give them a twenty dollar bill and it's whatever amount you give them oh, eleven dollars nice. back. That's easy. But the times where I have to sit there and I'm like, oh, my God, it went away and I have to act like I know how to do this and it takes me way too long but. there's a little bit of money on those yeah. we need to do like full like only cards yeah only cards oh, and Venmo sorry yeah cards only I think is gonna be the way to go yeah cards and Venmo will allow that well Venmo <laughs> no cards only yeah okay that's where cards only and definitely gonna have to charge the extra tax on the cards yeah we need to and no American Express the fees are too much yep, yep. um yep. I forgot we haven't podcasted in like Weeks. actually in a couple weeks, so it's been a busy month. I where were so you went? Home. Well, we did a vlog, so we kind of showed a little bit of where we were for. So no, okay, so we did one the week that Harry Ween and but before Harry Ween and Baby Scotty, we didn't do one. Oh, we didn't. I don't think so. Oh, we've been like really lacking, and I'm really sorry. Yeah, I think the last one we did before that was one of me and Matt when Matt was on it talking about the engagement. Oh, and then Sally Dar. Sally Dar was after that. Was she really? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> and then we were two weeks off, and now we're back, I guess. Well, yeah. last week we did Harry Ween and Scotty. So, yeah, so we didn't do one the week of Halloween because my sister-in-law's water broke. Um, if you saw the vlog, that's it. Go and watch the vlog if you haven't, because we really want to do more vlogs. 
we're gonna do more vlogs so yeah. get ready so um, you need to go watch it to yeah. like figure out what you're gonna because some weeks we might have like if we're away we might have a vlog instead of a podcast and like also for those listening on spotify you might not have noticed that there wasn't a spotify episode but there was a youtube video so like make sure you're subscribed to both places right. so that way you know right and i know the last one was pretty short but we didn't want to do a long one and invest all the time in a vlog if y'all weren't going to like it. But right. And everyone seemed to really, yeah. we had good reaction from it. And also you were spending time with your family. Like you just had a new birth in the family. So like I didn't Yeah, I was doing you so like much. <laughs> so much. But you're spending like time with them and it was fun. So yeah. Yeah. I didn't expect. The baby's perfect. She's so cute. Her name is Scotty Evans Flack. Came a month early. Have you created an Instagram for her yet? No. <laughs> I hate when parents do Me that. too. I think that's so weird. I'm like, just use it on your own Instagram. Like a verified child, even before. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? Like, you're trying... It's weird. I'm like, is Instagram even going to be here in 20 years? That like, is scary. What or are we 15 be years or whenever kids get Instagram these days. What was I going to say? She got her first piece of mail. It was kind of cute. It was her social security number. Oh. But it's like Scotty Evans Black. Did they mail that to you? That's crazy. To her. Yeah. I didn't know that either. No. I don't even, like, remember... I just realized, like, my social security number, like, a couple years ago. Like, I'd never known it until I thought I was entering it wrong, but it turns out I've been doing right. Yeah. I probably should have checked on that, like, a while ago. But. Yeah. My, like, lunch number or something, or my email or something, they gave me, it was, like, my first and last name and the last four of my social, and then I found out what my social was from there. What is that, uh, your social? Um, it's... <laughs> um, and then we also, when Patricia was still away... Um, I had a brand deal come up um, that I gave them like a couple options and it was literally like uh, bowling in LA with our friends. It was like all based around like experiences and it was like a really fun thing. The brand will come out later um, in the like next few weeks. But a couple options were like bowling with friends, escape room. Um, what were the other ones? Like a helicopter ride around the city for like one person. I was like, oh, that'd be cute and fun. I've wanted to do that always. And then like Las Vegas, I was like, well, I'll just throw in a Las Vegas hotel. Like they're not going to accept that. Like, why would they? Like they like, let me know the next day. Hey, we've like talked with the like, risk control and everything. And like, we've approved your Vegas like brand deal. And so the next day we um had to like, we started like talking about when we we're going to go. Cause the content was due like November. Like it was a very quick turnaround. And so like I had to get it done and this was a Thursday, so, like, we started talking in, like, a smaller – it was, like, me, Brooke, Sarah, and Megan um, all got into a chat because we knew that they all wanted to have always wanted to go to Vegas because Megan pointed that out, and she was like, oh, I got to tell Sarah, I got to tell everybody. Um, so, communicated with them, had a joint call, and then from there, it was like, everyone just said yes to going tomorrow. Megan said, like, should we go tomorrow as a joke? And I was like, well, I mean, it's available, and – I need to get this done, so <laughs> we booked flights. Yeah, Tristan the texted me that Thursday night and was like, I wish you were in town. The girls and I are going to Vegas. And I'm like, that I actually know if it sounds like my worst nightmare. <laughs> it was It looks so you all looked like you had a lot of fun. Yeah. We didn't club, which I really like. Like I yeah. don't I like clubs, but sometimes they're so overwhelming and I'm much more of a they're bar massive person. massive in Vegas yeah. too. And like, it's not like Unless you're going with someone who's paying for it, like a club, like it's not. It's not worth it. No, because the drinks are so expensive. So I'm acting like that's an opportunity for me all the time. <laughs> going with someone yeah, who's going paying to Vegas. For it. Did um, you win any money? I pulled out $300 and I ended up, um, we gambled like the whole night, which was so fun. I played blackjack. Brooke got so into blackjack and it was so funny to watch her like get so excited. Like hit me. <laughs> and like just we made so many friends and we were fucking with so many people um and we yeah i i pulled out 300 and then i walked away with like 195 but that was after gambling for like three or four hours that's so good i would say like i mean i only lost 105 dollars, which like i would have spent that on like two drinks at the club right and you were getting free drinks and i had fun yeah and i had free drinks while gambling right yeah they like to keep you in there they keep they it do. cold the one thing about the vegas experience when you have a good person on the other side of the chair who's like teaching you how to do stuff or they're like oh no don't like do that and they want you to win then it's because fun. it's better for them yeah you like, have to have a good table yeah and then like, the minute you get like something they do switch offs like and then they're horrible then you have to leave you can't yeah you can't when the the the, de the dealer leaves yeah yeah and then when we finally got we were getting like on a roll with like a good dealer at a good table and then they had to switch and we were like really worried and then she ended up being really sweet yeah. and then sarah actually went to vegas 
a couple like a week later saw one of the same girlies who was at our table for like hours so it was really sweet she sent us a snapchat of her (laughs) love that but it was really fun it was literally uh wheels up at like three o'clock got there at four left the next morning at 9 a.m so did y'all even sleep in the hotel uh, we got back at like 4.30, I think. And so I slept from like 5 to 7.45 and then went to the airport and then went out all day. Yeah, because <laughs> we also had friends in town last weekend when I was gone. And you thought you were a tro- trooper. I really was a trooper. And I think it really caught up with me this week when we had friends in town because I had to go home early like two of the nights because I was just like, I can't like... I'd been going out too much and we had just been doing a lot of activities. So, but I felt like we had fun and it was good. They had oh, a lot yeah. of friends beside them. So, oh, yeah. We had a blast and I don't know. I'm just, I'm also, I feel like I've turned into a mom or like an older person. <laughs> well, I like after you were make out. sure I eat really well. I don't really drink as much as I do, which is good, I guess. But mm-hmm. I'm like, I feel fine. I'm just like tired. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's fun. Uh, you you still go out and you have fun. I don't think you even have to like drink to go out. I need to. I like in the next two months, I'm gonna start drinking a little bit less and just like watching my calorie um, intake from alcohol specifically. Because like, oh my god, that's where all the al- uh, the calories come from for I me know. and you. I feel like it literally, like it's like it all adds up without even realizing it. It makes me like sick to think about like, and I just I'm tired of feeling sick when I wake up like. After a night of drinking. Like and like, it sucks too because Daylight Savings is here now. And it's like, what? It's 5.30 right now and it's pitch black. And I feel like my, my, oh my whole body. I just noticed yeah, it's dark. My whole body just feels out I feel of like I have to. Like, I normally like would take a nap for like 20, 30 minutes. But like when it gets dark this early, like I need a nap for like an hour because it feels like it's midnight already. And yeah. when we were out on Saturday, I literally th- thought it was midnight. Like, it was, and eight, it was, it like was 8 o'clock. 8 yeah. o'clock. But, like, I was ready to go home because I was like, well, it feels dark already. So. Yeah, which is good, honestly. <laughs> like, Good for our um, just mental health. Right, right. So I leave Sunday. You leave Tuesday? Tuesday, yeah. And we already have uh, – Matt has already told me we have a birthday party Friday night. Um, something Saturday during the day, oh. a concert Saturday night. And I'm like, can we ever get a freaking break? Mm-mm. No. I'm literally going to have to, like, I think I'm going to stay in on Friday night and just, like. I, I wanted to, <laughs> well, but it's Zane's birthday party. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be fun. I and mean, Zane, he came to my birthday party this year, so I have to go. Right. It'll be fun. I think it's it's just going to be i just need a break like i but i but i remember like how i'm feeling now and but I, he's going to Harry's house tonight right and i'm going to be home for like a month so that's why i've kept telling myself i'm like i'm probably going to get bored of being just like home like for a month with like i won't be seeing a lot of like my friends every single day and i'll feel so much fomo so i'm trying to say yes to as much stuff as i possibly well luckily like we get home from thanksgiving like the monday after and then it's like th- three weekends and then back home mm-hmm. for christmas yeah but so. actually, we're gone one of the weekends anyway, so. Well, we'll see. Mm-hmm. I'm still going to have FOMO. I know myself too well. Even just, like, hanging out. Like, it's so fucked up. Yeah. And knitting club. Like, I'll be sad to miss that. Like, seeing videos of that. Also, I'm really scared of this angle that I've been doing. It's, like, very much. Oh, I'm, like, completely laying down, so. <laughs> it's pajama day here on Grits to Glam. Yeah, these are my new, like, favorite pajamas ever. I got them from Target. If you follow me on Instagram, I did link them. They also come in red and white striped and with joggers. I'm wearing the shorts. Um, and I have lived in them. They are my absolute favorite things. So if you need new pajamas, go get these. Couldn't tell you the brand, but I do love them. One day we'll re- be reading an ad for the clothes we're wearing on our thing. Stars above. Ooh, I might sell some of my stuff on... I'm going to be selling... I'm trying to get like, clean out my closet a little bit. So I might like... Maybe I'll sell some stuff on like Poshmark or something. You're the pro that you and Channing. Poshmark's good. I like it because Depop. Depop is like cooler stuff. Like people don't want. Yeah. I don't know. People are just, like looking for like the weirdest of ugly and s- sorry, not ugly. <laughs> but people are spending Absolute like six hundred dollars on like a shirt that I would have worn in like third grade. I'm like, why? <laughs> I don't get it. So, anyways, Poshmark. I need to sell some things too. Well, yeah. Well, we'll do a big closet clean out, and then we can 
promote it here first so you guys can have the first dibs. <laughs> I mean, it's like also like the sizing difference between like me and you. Like, you're, so you can get all your like comfortable sweatshirts and stuff because you already threw out a lot of sweatshirt shirts. So you can get like all those like big sweatshirts from me and then you can buy like your fashionable items from Patricia. Well, the thing is, I've sold a lot of stuff already. I just have some shoes to sell. So if you're on a size eight, look up let a bitch know. Me. Patricia was just asking me where the closest KFC was because I woke up and I saw the image of mashed potatoes. It was the day we had our Friendsgiving, so last night on Monday. And I Well, I thought you ordered it for Friendsgiving. Oh, that would have been smart. But, but I saw you were making mac and cheese. Yeah, I made a gorgeous mac and cheese from TikTok. I posted it on my story, so if you haven't seen it, it's, it's really fun. good. I wish I took some home. I know. There's a plate in there if you want it. I'm not, you know, I don't really love leftovers. Um, but, um, I made a good mac and cheese, but I woke up craving like that type of food. So I got in their chicken sandwich looked so juicy. And so I got a chicken sandwich. Um, it came with two, three sides, mac and cheese. And I got two fries, which I should have gotten like coleslaw or something and biscuits. Yum. And it was really Yum. good. And it was so close. It was going to take like 20 minutes to get here. So I was like, okay. Perfect. Yeah, so I saw I that it. in the fridge. And I was like, I haven't. I don't know. I never like passed a KFC. You got to warm up one of those biscuits because they are good. They might be a little bit crunchy right <laughs> now, but they're good for what it's worth. Mm. Um, yeah, KFC was really good. It was kind of like weird of me to get, but not I, really. But I just feel like I, when is the last time I've ever gone to a KFC or like craved KFC? I just like feel like it's not out here. I don't know. Yeah, it feels like a very. I said so my grandparents loved the chicken pot pie from KFC. Really? I mean, mm-hmm. I could imagine. I and like my grandfather is—he was very—he owned a restaurant. Greek man, very stubborn about his food. Hated Chick Fil A. I'll tell you that. He never tried it, but I think he hated it because it was so successful. Yeah. Um, but the chicken pot pie, like he would not get chicken pot pie from just anywhere so there's a level I feel like, of like i trust him on that yeah we need to try i mean i'm down to get we need to get like a bucket of chicken and like we just go like hey maybe we'll yeah. do that once we like if we don't go so kfc out. <laughs> kfc please reach out please, to us please 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 because like chick-fil-a is really good but the um the sometimes it's not crispy enough and like the kfc chicken is like crispy, yeah crispy. it can be soggy that you can get a there are days you get a bad chick-fil-a and i love chick-fil-a but and that's a horror i mean feeling. i still going i still go back all the time but yeah i haven't eaten in a while though um it. okay so next week matt and i are taking our engagement photos oh my god that's fun who's taking them rachel and noah ray they're our wedding I photographers don't know why as well. I act like it, like I they're was amazing <laughs> they're i'm so excited we got them but i keep telling matt i'm like can you please go i shared with him a pinterest board I'm like, can you please add photos <laughs> for inspo because i know he's gonna have an opinion yeah and then Especially he just pictures he yes. always has like yeah yeah and he's like okay well here are the places that i think we should do it i'm like no 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 no, babe that's great and all but like we need like the what we're the vibe we're going with clothes this you're gonna wear so you would think one that like is so picky would are they doing aren't they like you told me they're like are they f- kind of film vibes yes okay. so their kind of tagline was basically we Want you to remember how your day looked, but more importantly, we want you to remember how you felt. Oh, that's sweet. I bet they're. And you be can really good. see that with every single photo. So like. And now our engagement photos. Are y'all gonna put those out beforehand? Or? Usually those go on like the save the date, and yeah, we'll definitely post them. Oh, the save the date. I forgot mm-hmm. that's even a thing. When is that coming out? Couldn't tell you. Soon after the photos, I guess, or yeah. maybe in a couple months. So you spend out your. I guess save the dates like eight to six to eight months before your wedding date, which we're getting married in October. I'm not telling y'all the date. <laughs> we're going to send out one lucky grits to glamour <laughs> <laughs> wedding invitation uh, but <laughs> to be a correspondent. Well, my cousin was like saying that she was in Oxford, Mississippi and on an Ole Miss was asking if she could come to the wedding, was asking when it was. And then my cousin Birmingham was saying the same thing. Like people are saying they're going to crash the wedding for Matt, obviously. But I'm like, uh, uh-uh, hell no. Right. I can't put that date out there, but it's crazy. We have the the venue booked already, the photographers booked, the hair and makeup, the band, the florist. You did get the band secured? Yes. Okay, a different good. band than we wanted. Yeah. I'm sure they're going to be fun. They're going to be fun. I'm excited. So. I'm so excited. Um, Yeah. And she has her little, um, you guys, you need to walk through, maybe you could do a separate video on Grits Glam of walking through your proposal, your bri- or your wedding book. She has. The, she got this thing on Amazon, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I haven't. I haven't looked at it since I put everything in there. But, but yeah, so I'll walk cute. y'all through it. I also am going to. I have a dress appointment on Monday in Birmingham. Um, so oh my god, I forget. Next week is literally Thanksgiving. I know. I'm excited about that, but we'll see there. And then there's a company out here, the bridal store out here that 
reached out, so I'm gonna go try on dresses with them. Hell yes. We'll it's kind of crazy. I kind of that would be a fun vlog too. I think we should yeah. vlog like your like pick like I said no to all these dresses or like right. I, said, I said like which dress is it? And if I find a f- like if I end up getting a rehearsal on my dress, I'll show y'all. Who cares? Yeah. Oh my god. I need. A, I gotta. Vlog. I gotta talk to Sarah because our friend Sarah McKendrick said that they reached out, and I need to try to get it done before you leave. I know. So we I go have together. to go. I would love that. Maybe okay. we. Can. I feel like I'm pretty open in the like later part of the week. After this Harry Styles shit is over with. And he's like, he needs to get out of the country for my own, like, help. <laughs> and the fact that he's, I, I, well, I guess you won't be back January 5th, 6th, and 7th, will you? Uh, Maybe so. I think. Well, if you are, I know your ass is going to one of those shows. I, maybe I will purposely not come back until after he's got out of the country. Because right after that, his tour will be away. So. That's yeah. really good. And I can't, I won't be able to spend any more money, like in the slightest. Like, yeah. I can't, I, I literally, I know I said I didn't have any money on Saturday. Now it's gone. <laughs> like, it's, it was there, now it's gone. It's I feel really, that. and now I'm like, rent. I'm like, oh, probably need to pay for that. Yeah. So, yep. Oops. <sighs> so, do you have anything on your Christmas wish list this year? My Christmas wish list, I'm trying to think. Like, I recently got a new computer, so I don't need that. Like, I wonder if, like, something for, like, our podcast, like, to kind of elevate, like, maybe, like, a little budget to, like, buy some fun little things for it would be cute. Um, I want, what do I, oh, I really want a new TV. And I know I don't need one, but I went into Best Buy the other day and was a menace. Well, you've had that TV for a while. So yeah, I and I bought like- it from Atlanta, and, like, I had it all throughout living in Atlanta. It's, like, five years. Or, yeah, I've had the TV for, like, six years. So, I think, like... And there's so many pretty ones with pretty screens and the colors are just like fucking insane. And so I really want that. And I want a new sound bar because I left my sound bar in Atlanta when I moved. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, and maybe some new shoes. Okay. Like lots of like like going out sneakers. Yeah. Like I need 52 pairs for every week because okay. they get so dirty. So. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> maybe don't buy white shoes. I love white shoes. Uh, These are good because they're a good color. Match. Well, get get a, um, just get, we have a freaking whatever they're called in there. The Clorox one? No, the Arm and Hammer, or not Arm and Hammer, Ooh. the Mr. Clean white yeah, things. Yeah, because I feel like if I just cleaned up the fronts, they'd be fine. They'd be fine. But like my all white shoes, disaster. Mm-hmm. First of all, I need to give away, like donate some shoes and some like clothes and then I can worry about re like backfilling my closet. Right. Right. Are what you going to clean you? your room before you leave? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Such a good question. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, I am. I'm going to try to restock the toilet paper in the bathroom and um, also do like a little sweep down and clean and like mop. Okay. Um, for me, well, Matt has already decided he wants to get me bedside tables for Christmas, but I'm like, that's a good gift. That's a great gift, but who knows if he's going to follow through. Love the man, yeah. but. <laughs> He was supposed to give me a bed for my birthday. Never came. Oh. <laughs> Didn't he say he got it too? Yes. Jesus. Um, then he was like, oh, wait. It said it was going to take forever, so I decided no. I was like, that's fine. I mean, I didn't really need one anyways. Yeah. Um, I think that's a good gift. I think so too. But I said I wanted the headphones, the Apple things. Apple, yeah. Because my AirPods hurt my ears too much. Well, so. if you want to buy mine, I don't really use them ever. Well, I don't want to buy them. I want someone to buy them for me. Yeah, that's true. And then I also want some, um, the... I don't know. I'm just kind of saying way too much right now. The Chanel little sling back heels. And that's all I want. That's a good list. They're little pumps. And I know those shoes I will wear th- for the rest of my life. Yeah. You can pass um, down to your daughters. Yeah. My daughter. <laughs> I only want one. Only one daughter. And I'm going to end up with all three. I know that. So just go ahead. Either that or I feel like you might end up with boys. Like all boys. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Um, Yeah. I haven't really thought about it. I just feel like. <laughs> but I now thought about it but the chanel uh, <laughs> shoes <laughs> well i really love those shoes and i know they'll go with like i just have been wearing so are many outfits just, what color are they they're tan oh, yeah. um they're so pretty i'll show them to you real and quick. i guess you have a wedding coming up so it's like a lot yeah i know and i think they could work with like wedding stuff but then i'm thinking maybe i should ask for a pair of shoes that i'll wear like all during wedding season like a white pair these are the ones yeah that's about it though i've spent a lot of my money on my new niece those are cute. They're really pretty and classic. They're the slingbacks. I'll put a picture in. Just send me a photo of them. Okay. So if anyone needs some inspo <laughs> or if you want a gift, <laughs> if any like creepy people, like creepy old men are wanting to gift Patricia some shoes, <laughs> she'll take some pictures of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she won't. Maybe, maybe. The price is right. She won't. <laughs> Can't even blink. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Yeah. 
Well, I think it, Christmas is already freaking here and it's scaring me. So I know. Years, I, I feel like the older I get, I say I'm old, but the older I get, the shorter the years go by or the quicker they go by. So enjoy every moment. <laughs> Back in my day. Sorry. Also, I'm very stuffy. I just realized it's not like I'm not sick. I just have like so much little like, tension in my head. Um, well, yeah, I'm excited. Um, I'm gonna, we have lots of fun little like new content types of things coming y'all's way. It's going to be absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Um, vlogs. I've been randomly vlogging, so I don't know what we're going to put in there. So I think we fun. should do like a week in a life vlog because yeah. that would be fun. And we have a lot of random shit that we can just throw in there, but I just need to remember to pull out my phone and do it sideways. So I already forget to do Instagram stories. So now I have to do it this way. Yeah, I know. I, I did I did do a good job this past weekend, I, yeah, would, I will did. say. Yeah, you pulling it out. But then I get embarrassed sometimes pulling it out and, like, videoing stuff. <laughs> and talking. Yeah. Like, sideways. Yeah. But it makes like, me look cooler than, like, just talking like I'm on an Instagram story, so. Right, right, yeah. Um, well, we, well, I don't know. Well, we're, we're, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. I want y'all maybe you should all comment on our instagram or our youtube and say what you're thankful for this year yeah what you're thankful for and like maybe what you want for christmas right maybe right. someone will find you in the comments and get it for and you. maybe on one of our vlogs that we'll put out we'll say what we're thankful for um because <laughs> i think we're running out of time right now so <laughs> anyways i we love, love y'all tristan's got to go get ready for harry styles i have to go get ready for watching the finale of handmade tail um, oh, i gotta watch white lotus too we everyone needs to watch the new season white lotus not a lot happens but like it's a very good show uh really yes okay. i'm loving it and it's just like so pretty it makes me want to go to italy sorry i don't know if we have time oh yeah we're about okay <laughs> love y'all love see you, you next week bye. or whenever bye <laughs>